There are a hundred noodles in your bowl of ramen. You select two of their ends randomly and connect them, then put the resulting, maybe deformed, noodle back in the bowl. You repeat the process until there are no ends left to join. On average, how many circles will you create? For simplicity, provide the answer approximated to the closest integer. We source this problem from quantguide.io, the quant interview preparation platform and the sponsor of this video. Stay tuned to learn how to get a free quant guide premium trial. Let us lay all the noodles on the table and look at our different options for joining their ends. If we select two edges of distinct noodles, they can be the left end of one and the right end of the other. We put the resulting longer noodle back. We are back to square one now with two fewer vertices and one less edge. The same happens if the initial endings we selected are on the same side. The last possible situation arises when we select the two limits of the same segment, join them and create a circle. We effectively remove from the game this noodle alongside two edges. With this image in mind, we need to convince ourselves that it is impossible to have a dangling edge. At each step, we remove precisely two edges, thus preserving the parity of the number of endings available. Initially, there are 200 such endings, so we cannot have only one in the aftermath of all joins. So now, with the conviction that the end ball contains only circles, Let's denote by f of n the expected number of closed circuits that results from a bowl of n noodles. Let's write some examples for values of n, starting with 1. When we only have one noodle, the only possibility is that we have one circle, so f of 1 is equal to 1. In the case of two noodles, what is our first move? We select the first end and consider it fixed. Only one other end exists for the noodle bordered by our initial choice, make it it one out of three options. We have a one in three chance of obtaining a circle and a noodle. From this point, it is exactly as when we had a ball with only one noodle. The consequence is that the expected value on this branch is f of one from the one noodle scenario plus one, the supplementary circle created. The remaining available choices are edges from other noodles. They add up to two in three chances, resulting in one log noodle alongside zero loops. The expectation is, as such, f of 1. Utilize the linearity of the expectation, and we arrive at the equality f of 2 equals a third plus f of 1. One more example is a ball with three noodles. Fix the first noodle end we choose. In the manner of the previous example, one out of the remaining five will generate a circle after the first join alongside the other two noodles. The resulting expectation is then 1 plus f of 2. For the other branch, which carries a probability of 4 out of 5, we obtain a ball with two noodles with an expected value of circles of f of 2. The weighted sum of the two branches implies that f of 3 equals 1 fifth plus f of 2. We should fast forward to the 100 noodle scenario since we better grasp the problem now. With one fixed noodle end, the first move results in one circle and f of 99 expected circles if we choose the pair of the first end. It happens with the probability of 1 out of 199. In the other 198 out of 199 cases, we have essentially 99 noodles, hence a total of f of 99. Recursively replace the values of the function f for 99, 98 and so on until the value 2. This results in the sum of the reciprocals of all odd numbers between 1 and 200. We now just have to round this value to the nearest whole number. The final value looks eerily similar to the harmonic sum, which has an approximation as the natural logarithm of n plus the euler mascheroni constant. Then we write f100 as the difference between two sums. The first is the harmonic series for n equals 200, and the second is half of the harmonic series 
for n equals 100. While we only have approximations for both these values, we hope that they are good enough to provide an accurate rounding when subtracted. So we further need to estimate the natural logarithm of 20 plus 0 0.288. Intuitively, this value lies somewhere in the vicinity of 3. It will be enough to prove that it is between 2.5 and 3.5 to conclude that the closest integer is 3. From left to right, it would suffice to show that ln of 20 is larger than 2.5. It is equivalent to the statement ln of 400 larger than 5 or e to the power of 5 less than 400. But knowing that e is less than 3, e to the 5th is less than 3 to the 5th, which is 243. This value is strictly under 400, so our approximation is more than 2.5. Moving on to the right-hand side, we want to prove that ln of 20 less than 3.2. Adding approximately 0 0.288 to it places us under the cutoff for an approximation of 3. Manipulate the inequality through a series of equivalent comparisons until we only have to demonstrate that e to the power of ln of 20 to the power of 5 is less than e to the power of 16. The value on the left is equal to 3.2 million. The square of e is larger than 7.29. Square the inequality again, resulting in e to the fourth more than 50. Raise everything to the fourth power, proving that e to the power of 16 is more than 6.25 million and the right-hand side of the initial inequality. Accordingly, we conclude that the closest integer for our computed value is 3, with the caveat that we only approximated this rounding. We can also check this with a calculator, eliminating any doubts. But pay attention, this only verifies that the sum is indeed estimated correctly. We now simulate noodle balls to review the formula that brought us here. Some other questions that can arise range from facile to demanding. For example, what is the probability that we only have one circle? Or what is the expected length, in noodles, of the vastest circle? With this in mind, the following code answers the last question and confirms our results up until now. If you are preparing for a job in the quant space, check out quantguide.io, which is kindly sponsoring this video. Being the leading platform for preparing for quantitative finance interviews, they offer a space to solve hundreds of real interview problems, split by topic and difficulty. They also offer a premium subscription, which includes detailed solutions and access to hints that help you move forward with your answer, much like a real-life interview. You can get a free trial of premium features by following the link in the description or using our promo code, a typical quant. Thanks for watching and thank you to our Patreons. If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to get notifications when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!